I let's watch the spring trap happening from I did a hey thing. Young, I just made this spring trap from Clash of Clans, which is definitely the scariest thing I've ever made. Oh. Oh fuck. So today I'm going to break some stuff with it and possibly myself. Um all right, now the spring trap from Clash of Clans doesn't work fuck? like a mouse trap or bear trap. In fact, it's kind of the opposite of a trap. There's no trapping involved. It defeats <laughs> the purpose of a trap as it just throws whatever steps on it away or closer to you using a big spring. And big springs aren't mm -hmm. even the best if you want to throw people in the air. My preferred method would probably be a car airbag, which would allow me to finally live out my dream of being in a live leak video. <laughs> Or the oh. much more practical and safer option would be compressed air, which is favored by the special effects industry when throwing Korean pop stars in the air. Wait, what? The That's how they do that? No screen, way! The safer option would be compressed air, which is favored by the special effects industry when throwing Korean pop stars in the air. What the fuck? The Clash of Clans wants me to use a giant spoon and also not to throw Koreans, which is a shame, but <laughs> also banned by the special effects industry when throwing Korean pop stars in the air. The Clash of Clans wants me to use a giant spring and also not to throw Koreans, which is a shame, but also good, as a giant spring is going to be a lot more fun than dangerous. <laughs> Clash of Clans would be like, please so don't throw around Koreans. That would be great. Rate. And they are car suspension springs, which I think will work, as I've seen videos of them shooting a mechanic's apprentice across the room. Oh, the plan shit. is pretty simple. The spring is compressed in a box with a platform on top, essentially like a giant jack-in-the-box. And then when you step on the platform, the spring releases upwards with 500 kilos of force. And this drawing isn't to scale, by the way. Damn. And in the game, the trap is even able to launch giants in the air. So a I'm just going to pretend that launches 500, 500 kilos. But like, as for launching with a the force person, of 500 kilos, bits, what so the can't fuck? Blame me if it's wrong. And he said it'll be enough energy to launch a 75 kilo person upwards at 65 meters a second. And to put that in perspective, this is that same 75 kilo mate eating a meat pie at 0 0.1 meters a second. <laughs> slow down there. So the first thing I did was connect the two springs together with some clamps and duct tape and this big brace that I made to form a mega spring. Now the most difficult part of this I build is going to be the I think that's a lot for such a small little it's spring. It's going to be very hard to hold down and also very hard to release under tension. And I was thinking of using the trigger mech from my last video, but it's definitely not strong enough. So instead I made this. And this should be able to release the spring even while it's under a high load. Then I also made this winch from a winch I bought online. What's a winch? Then I just welded up a box for it all to go in. And I also welded up a frame with a big pipe in the middle so that the spring will sit around it and hopefully will be nice and comfy. And I also made this platform which will go on top so that it looks exactly like the level oh, 5 spring trap from Clash of Clans. Stuff. So we've got the winch underneath connected to my car battery pulling down the platform and springs. And then there is a quick release here connected to the pressure pad on top. So then when I wind down the winch, if someone steps on the trap, it goes off. Whoa. And I think it's almost done, or done enough to do a proper test and see if the winch is even strong enough to fully compress the spring and then release it. And I know I say this a lot in every video, whenever I do something dangerous, but this is by far the most dangerous thing I've ever done. The power in these springs is more than enough to kill me and my mate, the delivery man, and that guy that walks past my house and puts dog poop <laughs> in my bin, and even you watching at home. And that's why I'm so excited to test this. But oh, first, gosh. a little bit more about the sponsor and the reason I made this. Clash of Clans, Jesus which is an Christ. awesome strategy game where you build defenses, upgrade your base, and attack other players. Yippee! And Clash of Clans is a new Clash. update soon and has an awesome event going on called Clash Nation, which is an in-game competition with creators and you Yippee. guys. It's split into two teams, which are the charities Team Trees or Team Seas. And I'm on Team Trees to offset all the wood I use when making these videos. And all your in-game <laughs> actions in the event will lead to planting trees and removing trash from the ocean in real life. Anyone can join the event, even if you haven't played Clash of Clans before. You just scan my QR code and then you get gold through multiplayer battles and looting other players' bases. And whichever creator and community that loots the most gold... <laughs> Skip button isn't working? No way! So go get Clash of Clans <laughs> now. I can't right, wait to, to play this while trap. sitting. And because my Let's go. In the garage, I took it to my mate's warehouse to test it out. But unfortunately, my camera didn't record. But luckily, I have his mobile footage. <gasps> oh, look at that shit. Yep. Yep. Three, two, one. Uh. Oh. <laughs> 
that was very impressive, especially considering those bags were filled with 20 kilos of lead shot each, so 40 kilos or 80 pounds of combined weight. But it's also kind of annoying, as originally I wanted to do the real test in my yard, but after seeing the power it has, I don't think I can, as I live next to a preschool, and 12 kilo springs and kids don't mix that well. So instead I'm going to drop it on one of you, and I went back to Hamilton's farm, who was nice enough to let me use it to spin up the giant Beyblade, and now he's going to let me use this olds. monstrosity on his land. But first, we had to dig up the new green. video. Yeah, and we have new video. Digging, Hamilton thought of a really great Yippee. idea to save time, and that was just to use part of this wombat hole to make it easier. How do we tell if there's a wombat in here or not? Ah. And this was his idea, not mine, so you can get angry at him. And unlike the wombat, the leeches were very happy to see us digging. And in a matter of minutes, we had Ew, leeches, outfit, which I won't show you. Okay, that was pretty easy. Ah. So we put it in the ground with some grass around it to make it look like it belongs here. And I just realized the worst case scenario for this trap, only after putting it in the ground. And that would be that when we winch the platform all the way down and then pull the quick release, it doesn't release. And then we are stuck with a loaded trap buried in the ground. Ah. And I guess we could also reverse the winch, but there's a chance that that doesn't work. And then I have no idea what we'll do. Maybe we can just leave it on Hamilton's farm until it goes off naturally. Also another potential <laughs> problem, since I'm using my car battery, if I use the winch for too long and it draws all the power, we are then stuck here on the farm. Recording? Yep. <laughs> we are then stuck here on the farm forever. <laughs> Goodbye, car. Yeah, I had no idea Leech just live in fucking grass, bro. I thought Leech saw water creatures. Ew. Well, now you just have a trap. But luckily, none of that was a problem for us as it didn't work. So I tried again. Three, two. What the heck? It's somehow broken. Somehow the winch bent the quick release, which I spent over an hour fixing while leeches were crawling up my leg in the rain. Three, two. <gasps> Whoa! But that wasn't even high. Wait, it pulled itself out of the ground. Oh, wow. And I wasn't happy with that at all. The melon didn't go very high. But like the spring trap, which almost jumped completely out of the ground. And so did the spring out of its cage. This oh. this guy here is meant to be on the outside of the pipe. Oh. You can see the book. It's now on the inside. Unlucky. <laughs> okay, and I realized pretty quickly that I wasn't going to be able to fix the problem on Hamilton's farm. So I took it back home to figure out. But then I realized it was worse than I thought, and the spring was actually stuck under tension, which made trying to fix the problem <gasps> terrifying, which is why oh. I called my mate over to stick his face really close to the high-powered spring. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not completely sure what happened, but I suspect it may have been the heavier wooden platform on top, which caused the spring to overextend and get caught on the inside sleeve. As when we tested it in my mate's workshop, we did it without the platform on top. But eventually we figured out what we needed to do. And my mate cut out some wedges on the bandsaw. <laughs> Ear protection. And then we shoved them Perfect. in and hit the whole thing with a hammer until it came loose. Nice, now we got a nice sharp stick that can fly out. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I love when my spring noted death device has nice sharp sticks that can fly out of it. Perfection. So I re-welded on the support in a way that hopefully doesn't get caught and also made a lighter platform and then set it up in my yard because I can't be bothered to go back to the farm. <laughs> yeah, fuck them kids, bro! Shattered the melon. And that split the melon in half just from the impact of the launch, but it didn't go that high. It separated the springs again. It broke the weight and it's stuck again. And also the spring did its thing again, but this time even worse. You're not meant no. to be on the inside. You're meant to be on the outside like the others. So now I'm once again shoving a chisel oh, into a no. loaded car suspension spring, expecting it to shoot through my head at any moment. Oh God. And I fixed oh. that, but then discovered some other mysterious damage, like the cable that had almost snapped. 
and also this bolt hole which is somehow completely squished. So once I fixed all of that, I set it up for another test with this mannequin, Jesus. which I stuffed three bags of sand right, into, he so it crazy. 60 kilos or 130 pounds. And I know you all want me to stand on top of this spring trap, and I will, if <laughs> this mannequin looks like it survives the launch. Okay, that's not going to happen. The mannequin is too heavy and is bending the spring in weird directions. So instead, I used this baby doll, which I stuffed <laughs> with metal weights, just like a real baby. Just like a real baby. <laughs> Thanks for the go? many hours of laughs and amusement. That was alright. And that didn't do Thank much. Thank you so much. I think I did You're way the more damage frog. Than I was missing the trigger with the stick. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I tried again. Oh. Okay, I thought the baby... Wait, is the baby in the tree? That was alright, although I feel like the spring trap uses its energy to do more damage to itself than anything else I put on top of it. <laughs> but if you want to see a spring trap working properly, go download Clash of Plants and scan my QR code and join the event to not only plant trees, but also potentially win a Tesla. Also, a hot tip for <gasps> you and existing win a players, Tesla? you should get the builder package for your town, because that gives you the advantage of progressing quickly in the early stages of the game. Good luck in the event. I like so womp womp Only womp womp And I womp non-stop While I stroke my cock <laughs>